Steve Haley out of Boston. I uh, went to Worcester Academy Prep School, played for BABC, and then um, went to Boston College. Even though I played, I was always a coach. So if you're a point guard, you have to, your responsibility is to everyone on the floor. You got to know everyone's position. So he was, as a point guard, you had to play a coach on the team. So I've always been, you know, the guy who, if I see something, I will point it out to one of my teammates. I wouldn't say I'm the smartest player that I play, but uh, around here, I'm probably one of the more smarter point guards. I would say I have a high basketball IQ. Some guys are more athletic, some guys are faster. You know, some guys are taller, some guys are stronger. I wasn't blessed with none of that. I wasn't blessed with, with the quickness, the size, the strength, the athleticism. I was smart. Um, I had a good handle. I was able to, you know, to play hard all the time. I wanted to win. Um, you know, and that transfers over to you know, everything you do. So when, when I'm teaching guys how to play. You know, I can get I can get somebody to work hard because I knew how to work. Hard. I worked hard. So you know, guy who got deficiencies with ball handling, point guard. I have to be able to handle the ball. So I can relate to that. The younger guys, um, I wouldn't say look up to me, but you know, I'm I'm easy to talk to. I'm easy to approach. I'm always in the gym, and you know, they see me working guys up. So, for a young guy to to see somebody who they've watched play growing up in the gym working with someone, you know, you're gonna go up to him after a while watching them. You're gonna go up to him and ask him, "Hey, um, you mind working with me?" And that's kind of how it started. I was in the gym working out um, Will Blaylock, and I call guys in to play pickup. I stay on guys and try to get them to come together and, and, and play pickup together. And the young guys see that. So. We were working out one day, and uh, this young kid came up and said, would you mind working with me? You know, if you're here and you're consistent and you want to work, then I'll work with you. And he wasn't the kid that was heavily recruited. He wasn't you know, the kid that was well known throughout the city. He was just someone who was in the gym and wanted to work. And it just so happens that the kid had gone to college, had a situation, and wanted to continue playing. He wanted to get his education. So you know, that's where the you know the, the mentoring and the guidance and the support came from through this kid. Because here's a kid who's not heavily recruited, who wants to continue playing, who wants to work, who needed some help. So you know me and a, another one of my friends, Alex Awumi, grabbed the kid, got in the car and took him up to a junior college in New York and got him into school. And from there, I think, you know, I knew what my calling was going to be. I knew what I really wanted to do. I wanted to help any way that I can. So now, instead of that kid sitting there watching um, me work someone out, you know, I'm approaching the kid. Now I'm out recruiting and looking for kids to, to work out and to help. And, you know, that's just where it happened. It took off from there. You know, I started working with BABC and, you know, working those kids out along with, you know, the, the surrounding colleges. I have my own summer league, so it was an easy transition to, to get into Harvard and say, you know, you can't work out with your guys for a certain time during the season. I don't have a problem with coming in and, and working your guys out. So here I am. I got full access to the gym. I bring guys up, high school, college, NBA guys to play pickup. Some of them I train. And then from there, I'm working out the Harvard College. I'm kind of selective too, because, you know, take my son for example. He's only five. If he decides one day that he wants to play ball, then he comes in to work out with me, it's gonna be serious. Yeah. I played on a serious level, so I don't do this for the money like um, a whole bunch of other people do. They train kids and you know, they're looking to to charge him this amount of money for the hour worker. I don't do that, so I'm selective. I go and get the kids that, you know, I hear about, someone reaches out to me and says, this kid got a chance, he's serious about it, he wants to work out, or I'm out watching the games. I might see the kid, I may know someone in his family, 
and I say, you know, I train guys, and I think your son has some talent. If you want, you can bring him by the gym. You know, he'll see some of the stuff I do, or he can work out with me, and we take it from there. But I don't really, I don't advertise this too much. And, you know, maybe I should, but you know, I just feel like the guys that, that do this serious don't advertise it. And someone will reach out to him and say, I got a kid, he's, he's pretty good, he got a chance, can he train with you? you know, so, he would, you know me or you know someone else that knows me or you walk in this gym any given time and there's 10 guys who you probably looked up to and seen play playing pickup and I'm sitting in the stands and you may approach and you know ask if we can work out. I don't really advertise. Um, when I was in college there was no sanctioned leagues in the city. You know, if you didn't play pickup with guys you really didn't play unless you worked out by yourself and you know when I went to BC I started reaching out to the guys at Northeastern I started reaching out to the BU guys and saying can we come down there and play pickup with you or y'all come up here and you know I just seen that as an opportunity to start a program league you know other cities have it uh, I reached out to the Tobin Community Center guy who I you know, mentored me for a long time, he was the director over there. And I said, you know, we need a sanctioned league. It's a perfect location, perfect gym. You get people out. From there, we got the certification. I already had the relationship with the surrounding colleges. And, you know, everything else is history. This is going on our third year this year. Um, last year, it was a lot better, of course, than the first year. We had Tyrese Rice came back to the city. He played. Um, Demetrius Nichols came, Antonio Anderson, Jeff Adrian, you know, Jonathan Kale. A bunch of guys came back and played. And that's, that's the biggest thing for me, is having the atmosphere for guys to come back home and want to stay home, play ball, and work out. That's, that's all I want. When it's starting to get there, um, it's probably going to take another you know, maybe two years to really get it to know where some of the other cities have it but it's getting there so if you want to call me an ambassador that's fine but I feel like I can't do this on my own so I reach out to anyone and everyone who is doing it at this level and the ones who aren't I'm trying to bring them along and, and trying to get them involved because this is where we want these kids to end up at you know we don't want them to play high school ball and then be just floating around so they can get in here see what's going on in here with Harvard. you got Harvard guys you got a kid who's going to Maryland next year you got this caliber of athletes coming in it's only gonna influence the younger kids to want to get to this level so I try and bring those AAU guys those high school coaches in here to see what's going on so that now they're bringing their kids around now they're coming around. Now everyone's calling about, can I get in the summer league? No, if you're a Division One athlete, you're guaranteed to get it because it's for them. It's sanctioned for them. So you know that's the goal is to to get everybody on this this movement. So, um, for a young kid, I would say, ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. You don't know everything. I think we all have made the mistake of thinking we know everything. You know, when I turn 18, I'm going to get a car. I'm going to have my license. I'm on my own. You ain't got to tell me anything. You never know everything. Uh, even for the, the college guys, you know, ask questions as well. Because I see that the college players know how to work hard, but they don't necessarily understand what it is they're doing. The pros, you may see them work out and it doesn't look like they're going hard, but they are. But they think the game at a different level than a high school player or a college player does because they have the experience. So uh, I would say just always be willing to, know, willing to learn. Always be willing to learn. And, you know, that's basically it.